Hey guys, what's going on? Sherman here. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of my absolute favorite options on the market today for a first aid slash trauma kit. And that is the VanQuest Fat Pack series. Now, fat stands for first aid and trauma. So, perfect. It's right there in the name. Uh, they have a couple of different sizes, or a few different sizes rather. I have two that I'm going to show you guys today in this review. I'm going to review them both in this video because they're so they're, they they do have a couple of differences but they're also very similar and uh, I just unboxed this and I'm going to show you guys that to compare different colors um, so I'm going to start off with this one right here this is the one that I carry in my everyday carry pack slash get home bag whatever this is my primary IFAC that I carry with me every day and uh, this is in the 4x6 fat pack and that measures um, f actually four and a half inches wide by six inches tall by three inches deep. So a pretty large, pretty capable pack. You can see it in my hand. Uh, it's perfect size for me anyway with, uh, for a everyday carry pack first aid kit. Um, so all of these in the series, they're all constructed of 1,000 denier military grade Cordura brand nylon. Um, Cordura is a great name brand of nylon. Uh, all of these have the water protective coating. It's the, the DuPont polyurethane coating that's going to wick away that water. You guys have seen my testing videos in the past showing that. Works perfectly. Um, you know, I, I just, I love it. Um, these are going to come in the coyote tan color, which you see right here, wolf gray, and black. So, very cool. You get those color options. Um, all the internals inside, like you see here, uh, are all made of 210 denier ripstop nylon. So I just wanted to go over that. This is, by the way, the newer version. Uh, the versions that I'm about to show you, uh, these two different sizes, they do not have the high-vis orange internals. These are the first generations. These are kind of the first ones, some of the first batch made that were sent to me to review. Uh, I know I'm a, little, I'm a little late to the party. Um, but I'm going to show you guys this one. I'm just going to go over this one real quick. And uh, I'm not going to go into great, great detail over everything I have in here. I can save that for a separate video. Uh, this is just going to be a review of the pack. So on the front of the 4x6 fat pack, you're going to see it has a 2x3 loop field for all of your medical patches or name tape or uh, your blood type, and different stuff like that. I just made this generic one. First aid. Uh, I'll probably put a different one on there though, but that's just the one that I stuck on there when I got this. I've just been rocking it ever since. But you can put whatever you want on there. It's got a just uh, two strips of webbing here on the front. Put pens, scissors, whatever you want. You have two rows of two on either side, so you have four on both sides. Run, like I said, some pens, lights, whatever. You do have a little loop, a little fob here on the bottom to lash stuff to. You have two down here on the bottom, so you can run in here again, a pen, maybe a chest dart. Uh, two more up top, and then one right here, which I've attached a carabiner to, which I will explain why here in a second. Uh, all the zippers, all the zipper tracks on this are reversed, so, so that dirt, debris, lint, water doesn't get down in the zipper tracks and cake it up. So that's a, uh, a, in my opinion, a sign of quality. The zippers that they are using are YKK zippers, number eights. YKK is the best brand of zippers on the market. You guys probably already know that. But, um, and of course, all the stitching is top notch. So on the back here, you have very large molly webbing. You have three rows here to work with, so you can uh, mount it to all your gear. Or I just have it just stashed down in my pack. But you can mount it to your gear uh, using the Molly sticks, which which VanQuest does sell, which I love these because you can just slip them in. That's not exactly how you do it, but you get the picture. And you just crank that back, and it's locked in. You can kind of tug on this, open it up, pull it out, you're good to go. You can also, of course, just put regular um, Molly uh, Molly clips on there. Or, or malice clips, or whatever you want to use. Um, or you can go with their Molaire system, or Molaire, however you pronounce it, and turn this into a rip-away system that can be attached to hook and loop surface. So, 
all kinds of options of course you guys know what's out there um, very cool but uh, the main the main thing I love about this is the rip open system which you guys have seen with the ITS tactical fat boy packs um, which I'll get to that in a little bit it's kind of the elephant in the room um, but real quick the uh, the zipper pulls I love how they do them they do the the round circle zipper pulls which are very cool easy super easy to get your finger in there and to manipulate those zippers uh, it doesn't really come in handy with this particular design because you're not going to be manually unzipping each side you're going to be ripping this thing open but that's that's uh, what they do with all their backpacks all their zippers they do all their zipper pulls like that i like it uh, the reason why i have the carabiner on here a it's easier inside my pack to grab this and pull it out because if you grab on this it tends to want to open a little bit uh, also, it gives me something to brace, uh, so I have basically two. I would love to see a second pull handle back here uh, instead of this little loop, but it's whatever. But anyway, what you're going to do is you're going to, if you don't have the carabiner, because it's not going to come with it, so um, it's not that hard. I just like having a little extra grab on tube. You're going to hold on to that fob, or if you have this mounted, you don't have to worry. You're just going to tug on this handle, and everything is going to open up like so. Beautiful, beautiful design. I love how this thing opens. Everything just fillets open so nicely. I'm gonna have to do this sideways to show you guys. That's, that's the contents. I'm gonna bring in this one just to be able to show you guys the features in detail without having to take everything out of my pack. So, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this one does not have the high-vis orange liners where as if you were to order one today it will it will have it um, like I said mine's part of the older generation but so you open it up and it looks kind of like a stingray actually <laughs> but you can open it up and they have the little ladder as they call it organizer system whereas you have this you have basically this uh, long piece of shock cord with a cord keeper and it's kind of daisy chained so if you're familiar with this kind of system, like I said, ITS Tactical does this, and uh, it, it works works great, especially at organizing your smaller things. Um, probably not going to work well with like big gauze pads, but this is a smaller kit anyway. But anyway, you guys get the picture. You're going to loosen these up, and like I did here, you're going to take your 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 pill bottles, your small wrapped gauze. I got some eye drops. Um, you're just gonna slip them underneath like that and just tighten it up with your keeper up here. Slide it forward, keep everything cinched down. But what it's gonna do is it's gonna keep everything like that at the ready. It's gonna be easy to get to. It's out in the open so you can sit there, you can see, okay, that's my ibuprofen bottle. You know, that's my gauze. You don't, you don't have to worry about anything being hidden, out of the way, hard to get to. Just pull it out. You're ready to use it when you're done, you know, stash it back in here and it's protected. Super cool system. I love that, that organization system. And in my opinion, for a first aid kit, organization is one of the most important aspects of it. So, <clears throat> so you have that up top here. You have three big, well, especially one big elastic band here where I kind of stash all my band-aids and everything up in. Uh, kind of put them back behind there. But it's kind of to help retain these slip pockets. Because they're kind of like slip pockets, but it's got that retention in there, so it kind of helps keep everything from falling out. Not that it would, because it's a zip up, you know, but you know, you can stash your, uh, maybe spare batteries to your light, a flashlight, um, band-aids tongue depressors maybe if you have like NPAs and OPAs maybe you can put them down in there um, just I mean, the possibilities are endless and you know I, I forgot to say this a little bit ago these are designed as a first aid slash trauma kit that doesn't mean that's all you can use it for these are great excellent actually EDC organizers as well I mean you know the sky's the limit that's just what it was designed for and that's what I use mine for but get creative, guys. These things would be excellent electronics organizers. You know, stick your different batteries in here and whatnot. Just real quick, when you're ready to put all this back together, I'll show you with my full one just to show you it's not complicated. 
You do have to kind of figure out ways to, to keep your items, like I keep these kind of stashed in here. Um, this I kind of jerry-rigged myself. That's not going to come like that. I have a carabiner attached to the uh, the bungee, the shock cord. I just have a roll of tape at the ready. Like I said, I, I can do a full video of my IFAC if you guys would like. Leave in the comment section if you'd like to see a video on it. But anyway, you're going to take the, uh, the, the loop flap up here, put it on the hook flap. Kind of here again, you got to reposition some of your stuff sometimes. But you're going to. I'm anal, so it takes me a little longer. But anyway, you're going to put that back, and then you're going to manually zip this up. So you're kind of, for lack of a better term, you're reloading it. And there you go. And it looks kind of like a potato, but it looks awesome. So you can put a lot of stuff in here, and that's just the 4x6. So I'm going to show you guys now the 5x8 fat pack. So 5x8, it's a lot longer. It's wider, not it's it's longer. It's longer than it is wider than uh, than this one. So you can see here's a size comparison. They're the same depth. There's there's laying on top of it. So you can see big, pretty big difference. And there's one even bigger than the five by eight. I think it's a six, maybe it's a seven by eleven, something like that. It's massive. Um, I don't have that one yet. I might purchase one in the future. Um, but you can see this one is a little bit different. As opposed to having uh, the two strips here in the front, you're going to have a hook and loop closure slip pocket. So that's a little bit of a difference you get with the bigger size. This is actually a really good pocket for gloves, I would imagine. You would have to worry about the uh, abrasive uh, hook material, possibly abrading the gloves. Maybe you know, shove them way down the bottom, put them in a plastic bag or something like that. Um, but I like that. Of course, you have the, the hook, the loop material up here for your patches. It is a little bit longer you know, to match the, uh, the width of the bag, uh, but it is also two inches. But I think it's two by four maybe this is two by three yeah there's a little bit of a difference so like I said for all your patches you have the same amount of loops on the side here the back same way you have the uh, the different lashing options for your different items big big molly webbing on the back so same deal opens the exact same way but this one how it differs it, with its ladder system is that whereas these when you open them the four by sixes you would run your items um, I guess perpendicular to to the flap and how it how it's angled whereas with the five by eight everything's gonna kinda be parallel to the flap if that makes sense your items are gonna run probably like more than likely like that so perpendicular to that flap Whereas these are kind of oriented, you can do both, but you don't have a whole lot of excess room here by the zipper. So you're more than likely going to be, it's going to be like such. So this is much more, in my opinion, first aid kit, trauma kit. You know, the much bigger size, your trauma items are generally much larger than your first aid items. Uh, for obvious reasons. So you, you know you can have your big ABD pads in here or your quick clot, your seal ox, and uh, different stuff like that. Um, the only difference uh, with the the top flap here is it's going to have two slip pockets. So you're gonna have one back here and then one in front of it. But the same thing goes you're gonna have the two side flaps here. You got the shock or the uh, the bungee straps here hold everything in place. Really that's the only difference. Now this is going to be much better for your triangular gauze or for your large rolled gauze. It's going to be great for that or a pressure dressing. Perfect. But here again that's only if you're going to be making this a trauma kit. But use definitely use your imagination. But yeah that, that's the difference in those. I can't speak to the size above this because I don't own one. Um, 
but like I'll post a link in the description to where you can buy these on their website. These retail, the, the 5x8s retail from their website for $34.99 and the 4x6s retail for $29.99, which I think is a really, really good competitive price. Uh, anything similar to this on the market today by any other company is probably going to run in the 40s to 50s. You know, usually around 40 bucks or something just this size. Um, the ETA Fatboy Packs by ITS Tactical, around the same price, a little bit more. Um, <clears throat> in terms of quality, I think they're both the same. They have a couple of differences here and there, but quality-wise, I think they're exactly the same. All right, now, I told myself I wasn't going to bring this up, but I just had to. Just thought it spoke to the character of the company. Um, I was in the wrong in a situation uh, because the elephant in the room is that this looks looks very similar to the ITS Tactical Fat Boy Pack by uh, Zulu Nylon Gear and ITS Tactical. Well, um, I was watching Prepared Minds 101's review of these packs, and I was out of line and kind of made a comment talking about these were a ripoff of the ITS Tactical Fat Boy Pouch. Um, VanQuest actually saw it and they sent me these to review like two days later they sent these second day air just for me to review and they told me that you know they're extremely nice and professional they could have told me you know to screw off but they didn't they stood by their product and you know they said that theirs were different enough to where it's not a copy but it is you know influenced they made some changes they made some uh, you know quote-unquote improvements you know that's that's up to you guys it's kind of subjective but uh, uh, they stood by their product you know they took a criticism and they sent me these just to review so I think that's incredible to be honest with you guys you know like I said I was in the wrong I shouldn't have said anything um, but to me them standing by their product and sending me these even when I was skeptical to review was incredible and actually they didn't even tell me to review it they told they just sent it to me just to check out to show me that it was different than the ITS tactical pack and so you know I didn't owe them anything by doing this but I wanted to because I've been using the hell out of this pack I have been using this uh, on a daily on a day-to-day -day basis and I beat myself up for not doing the video until now um, <clears throat> this one I haven't found a purpose for yet, to be honest with you guys. I am using the ITS Tactical Fat Boy as my trauma kit, my dedicated EDC trauma kit. So that's on my EDC pack right now. So it's uh, the dimensions on it are a little bit wider. It suits my needs a little bit better. So I haven't found a use for this one yet. But incredible product, guys. Definitely go and check this out. Highly, highly recommend it for an EDC. Uh, IFAC or for a, a trauma kit like it's designed for but I also recommend it for you know an EDC organizer now VanQuest makes EDC organizers a little bit different um, I will be reviewing those in the future but highly recommend it guys these are fantastically fantastically these are fantastic products made just incredibly well and uh, just I highly recommend them definitely go and at least check them out guys all right, guys, hope you enjoyed this review. Hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Stay safe, stay sharp, and God bless. Sherman 614, peace.